Hey everyone, Matt N3VIN here. Just wanted to do a quick video on how to charge your Yaesu VX6R with a simple USB C to 4.0 by 1.7 millimeter cable. And that is the standard on a variety of Yaesu handheld radios, whether it's the VX6R, which I absolutely love. Or another radio, which was my first radio right before Hurricane Sandy hit, and that is the VX8DR. I didn't even have time to program it before it got hit, so uh, got the radio, didn't even get it up and running when we lost power for a whole week, but great to have a radio for preparedness. I was actually scanning channels and listening into uh, traffic as well as weather, and not only that, but I did pick up a new Radio, yes, another radio added to my collection. No, I'm not going to get rid of the uh, VX6R. Absolutely love this thing. Use it daily, but had an opportunity to get the FT5DR and thought, hey, I always wanted this. A few friends of mine have this, and I wanted to give it a whirl. And the great thing is each one of these three radios can power through DC 12 volts using that 4.0 by 1.7 millimeter um, adapter port. Now, this was not a novel idea. There was a bunch of people talking about this online. The Smoking Ape did a video, great video on this, as well as We the People. And some of the biggest concerns about it were overdriving with higher voltage to your Yaesu handhelds. And that is a very big problem, one you should be concerned about. And I think I might have solved that. Um, this actually has a special device inside this USB to 4.0 by 1.7 cable to keep the voltages at 12 volts or lower. And I will show you that. And I wasn't sure if this was going to work. You know, things made in Taiwan, overseas, China, uh, you can never trust. So I spent a little bit more money, $15 on a maker fire. And this is a USB-C power meter. And it shows you how much power is actually going to the cable before you plug it in. So let me plug this in and show you guys. What I think I discovered, there we go, there's the Maker Fire logo, let's see how much voltage it pulls up, yep, 11.87 volts, so it's keeping it under, and like I said, this power bank I use to charge my uh, Microsoft Surface Go 3, and that takes a little bit more voltage than that, uh, but let me show you, take this, plug it right into your VX6R, and voila! It's charging. How great is that? Once you know your devices like this power bank and this cable will work perfectly fine for charging without overdriving it or over voltaging it, then you're set. And I even tested this one. This is a Lysen or Lizen, L I S E N, USB C, dual USB C, power delivery, um, cigarette lighter, charging plug and I checked it with this and it does not go over 11.89 or 12 volts so this one is perfectly safe using this cable you don't need the meter but in my opinion get one of these it's well worth the $15 I think total for this cable and the power meter I spent $24.46 and that's including the tax so definitely well worth having and I'll show you guys you can even charge other radios so not just the VX6R you can charge the hard to find and now expensive VX8. Look at that, now charging. Yep, 11.8 volts. And my new FT5DR. Again, not replacing my VX6, not yet at least. Um, there we go, it's a little faint, but it shows now charging. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it is charging. It's pulling uh, 0 0.302 amps right now. And the nice thing is it has a timer on there as well. So there you have it. You can charge a wide variety of Yaesu radios safely utilizing this cable and a battery pack of your choice. You can use this one. I think I have an anchor one here. There we are. This is a little crusty on this one too. Let's pop it on over. So this one also has the USB PD for power delivery. Let's see how much power this thing shoots out. 11.96, a little bit more. Let me toss it on there, but it is under 12 volts. Let me toss it on the VX6R. Boom, charging. And of course the amperage moves up once you plug it in there, gets it to a nice safe um, amperage delivery to that, and you're good. So a wide variety of charging packs can charge this, 
And what I'll do is I'll show you guys that this does charge, well, not the Anchor one, but the Amazon Basics, which you can't get right now. This will charge my um, Surface Go 3, which takes a little bit higher voltages. So stick with me. I'll show you that. All right, I'm back. Got the Surface Go 3 LTE. Got the proprietary uh, cable from USB-C to the Microsoft Surface. Uh, unique plug. <laughs> proprietary. And let's plug this in. Pop that in here. Pop that in the same Amazon Basics. And let's see what voltage we have now. Hey, 14.83 volts. Way too much to run on the Yesus. But this special cable right here... Keeps it below 12 volts, which is fantastic. Now, let's plug this in to show you that it will charge. Look at that. Charging light is on. Yep. Watts are moving up. Amps are up. So this is charging my Surface Go 3 LT using the same battery pack. Higher voltage, higher watts. And you don't want to run that on one of these Yesus. So if you're going to be getting... Um, one of these cables, make sure you get the one that I link in the description. I tested this out. If you want a little bit more peace of mind, uh, definitely grab yourself one of these uh, USB-C power meters. Hey, $14.99. Definitely well worth the insurance on one of these $400 uh, radios that you have, not including all the accessories. So you don't want to blow that out there. Now, before I end this video, you're probably thinking, Matt, that's great. You could charge it through a USB-C, but how long does it take? Three years? No, it's actually not that long. Uh, when I first got the FT5DR, it had one bar on this. And this is a standard 2200 milliamp hour battery. And I threw the Maker Fire on there and timed it. And it took about two hours and 15 minutes to fully charge it. And let me see. I was just topping it off there. So it had one bar. Hey, look, there we go. It's uh, missing one. Oh, there we go. So it's roughly fully charged. I've been using a little bit. Just threw it on the charger for this video uh, a couple times. But that's not bad. Going from one bar all the way up to fully charged in about two hours and 15 minutes. And that's great if you're in an emergency or have it in your car. You just want to top off the juice. So that's pretty much it. So if you like the video... Give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment. If you like the content I'm creating, definitely consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Check the comments. I'll throw the uh, information and links for this. But see you on the next one, guys.